If you don't want to have better balance, then get out of here. While we're balancing, a lot of factors contribute to how well we're balanced. Where our eyes are, our joints, our core, those are all good stabilizers. But one of the things you may not know about balancing is that a lot of it can actually come from our ears. Yeah, that's right our ears. In our ears, we have little canals at the end of it that have a gel-like substance in it. And inside this gel-like substance, on the walls of it, there are little hairs like protruding out that move as we move our head and that can tell our brain and our muscles which way we're moving, whether it's up or down, left or right. So if your ears aren't properly balanced, then there's a good chance that you're not going to be balancing very well. So one of the things that you can do for this is this little exercise I like to do and it has three steps. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find a balancing position, whether it's on one leg or two legs, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna close your eyes and move your head around in all different directions. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to still be in the balancing position and you're gonna take your thumb, you're gonna put it in front of you and look at your fingernail. And then you're gonna find and watch your fingernail as it goes around using only your eyes. Now the third thing you're going to do is you're going to do them both at once, both your head and your ears. What this does, it creates a connection between your ears and your head and your eyes so that you're able to be more equal and so that when you're doing things like spotting, that your ears and your head and your ears are all in unison. 